You've seen him on Conan and HBO Succession, but check out his Comedy Central half hour special hitting the air November 8th. Please welcome back to the stage, Nori Davis. I'm happy to be here in San Fran, get out of New York, because it's just it's too expensive. Like, I'm going to get rid of my car. Such a scam. It is a scam. You know what they're doing? They're getting rid of all the tow booths, and they're putting up cameras. So when you go through a camera, they take a picture, and they bill you in the mail. So basically, they don't want their money. <laughs> it's like, what is mail? <laughs> Y'all still look in that box? I don't. I'm not 87 years old. You better hit me on Instagram. What do you want? <laughs> the tolls are following you. Okay, block. <laughs> Next. That's why I feel bad for people that have jury duty. I'm like, why did you open your mail? Just go in the house. There's nothing in there. All that's in there is threats. That's all that's in there. Threats and advertising. Student loan bills, collection letters. If you don't pay this bill, you won't be able to register your car. Well, then take my car. I'm trying to buy a boat. I don't care. <laughs> you don't know my goals. No matter how many colors you make the envelope, I'm not paying it. They try to change the color of the envelope like we're supposed to be scared. Like, oh, it's orange today. <laughs> that means they coming. All you're doing is giving my recycler bin diversity. That's all you're doing. <laughs> Joke one. You guys are dope. <laughs> my fiance wasn't able to make it here because she's not a Delta member. So, um, but I love her very much. And it was great. She got to see Avengers Endgame with me, and she really enjoyed it, man. She really enjoyed it. I love that, because I try to introduce her to my nerd movies, you know? Like, I love Ninja Turtles, right? Like, TMNT till I die. But it's hard, to, it's hard for her to get into it, because the storyline is not compelling at all. She'll watch it with me, and then, then she's like, all right, so they going to fight them again? And I'm like, well, you know, Shredder came back. So the turtles got to come together. Turtle power, baby. And she's like, well, they did that last episode. They do this every episode. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know I was watching the same storyline since I was nine. <laughs> that's why I really wish I could write a Ninja Turtle episode that's more compelling for women, you know that? That has, that has more shade, more tea, more drama. Like right before the turtles are gonna fight Shredder and the Foot Clan, Donatello's like, look man, we about to go fight them, right? But I gotta let y'all know, I heard April's pregnant. <laughs> and Michelangelo's like, that's cool dude, Cowabunga to her and Casey Jones. <laughs> and Leonardo's like, uh-uh, I heard that's Shredder's baby. It's like, next on Love and TMNT. <laughs> Whose baby is it? Let's find out at the end of the season at the reunion show, <laughs> hosted by Splinter. Splinter up there dressed like a nice dressed rat. He got his sons up there, they wearing Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. It's all right, I got a surprise for you boys. April and Shredder. Shredder comes out, y'all can't beat me. I'm still the baddest man here, crank forever. And he sits on the couch and his spikes get stuck to the seat. Psst. And then April comes out. She has her yellow jumpsuit on, red bottom heels, her hair is done. She's like, hi, Splinter, hi, Turtles. And she sits down on the couch next to her man, Shredder. Donatello can't take it. The tension is building. Donatello starts cursing her out, like, why are you with him? I built those gadgets for you. I had a crush on you this whole season. And April can't take the shade, so she starts reading him going, well, first of all, you're a turtle. What are we doing? You live in the sewer. I'm not going down 
there. And all y'all do is eat pizza. Try a taco. <laughs> Look, I know Shredder's evil, but he's ambitious. <laughs> and he's helping me with my album. <laughs> Everybody look out for that. My album's coming out. I'm coming out of my shell. Thank you. Thank you. Next on Love and TMNT. All right, that's the only Ninja Turtle joke I got. Um, so weird. Thank you, thank you. This section of blankets is killing it. All right. <laughs> the older people in the back, I can't hear them. <laughs> that black kid should have a yellow jacket on. No. <laughs> joke, that's a joke, that's a joke. That's a joke, that's a joke. Y'all all right. <laughs> Chris is dying. I love Chris. <laughs> so I have, a, I have a daughter, too. She's great. She's six years old, man. And she's in the second grade. Barely got through the first grade because of math, man. And if you love math, I praise you. But math should be an elective. <laughs> like, you should choose to take it. Because people don't understand math. That's the only subject you introduce to problems. <laughs> you just got there, and you got problems. English you write, science you discover, art you draw, math is like solve this problem. <laughs> you done with that, here's another problem. <laughs> oh, you done with that, these are all problems. And you're like, I'm six years old, I just got here. Why do I have all these problems? <laughs> Why do I have problems? <laughs> we all been there, math. That's the only, that's the first subject that introduced you to stress and anxiety as a kid. You remember those equations? We had those dumb equations. You have nine apples and Dustin takes away two and Will bit four and Mike has five. How many apples do you have left? Who are these people eating all my apples? I don't know them, I'm six and I just got here. And you got the cast of Stranger Things eating my food? Dustin doesn't even have teeth. All right. Time to put on the guitars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was fun. I got one more. So yeah, I, thank you for having me. I get back to go to New York to my to my gentrified building, which like gentrified building basically means like the mice are not scared of you. <laughs> like they just walk by your living room and look at you like, hey, how long you been here? It's just a mice, you know. It's just mice. It's nothing. It's not like. There's people in New York that have rats in their, in their apartment. That is crazy. Can you imagine that having a rat in your apartment? Can you imagine having a rat in your apartment and right behind it is four baby turtles? <laughs> <laughs> this is the beginning. I'm April. <laughs> All right, you guys are great. I'm Nori Davis, man. Hit me up on Instagram or Spotify. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Nori. Nori Davis, everyone.